So I'm down at Crawley Town training first team with two of the biggest YouTubers in the UK. Don't do faces, because that's, <laughs> that's what you might not Don't have. do that. <laughs> Manny and Toby, how you boys doing? Doing good, thank you, Very man. Good, bro. Really good. So I'm used to seeing you guys on a Sunday. Yeah. Because we all play for the same Sunday league team under the radar FC. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? How did you, man, end up at Crawley Town first team training? Ah, um, well, it started with Wagner United owners of Crawley Town. Um, they wanted to get involved in supporting the charity match we took at the Sidemen last month. Um, raised a load of money for charity, sold out Charlton Athletic Stadium, and um, they donated to that, supported the cause. Sent some scouts down for a little bit of publicity because they want to try and create like an online culture, online presence for Crawley Town. And um, yeah, they asked if we'd be interested in coming down to train with the team as part of that kind of, you know, move. So you man were the ones that got scouted, yeah? No one, no one scouted, else was there. scouted, yeah. yeah. What, what, I mean, what was your reaction when, when they told you? It's half and half, to be honest, because like, obviously we know both sides of the coin. A lot of people will be like, what's going on? YouTubers in a professional environment and it sounds like a crazy thing. So we were kind of half and half, because obviously we try and uh, have our like morals in line wherever we go, whatever we do. But I think same time, like, the childhood side of us came out and was like, this is a chance to be in a professional football That's environment. Yeah. Jump at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even coming here today, we've been able to have an experience that we may not otherwise have had. As brothers as well, like the as three brothers. of us. That's what you dream of, really. And yeah, we've enjoyed it. We've learned stuff. We've seen the levels and the difference between like where we are and where they are. And you can see why they're there. And the consistencies in what they do and there's lessons to take away from them. How was the training session compared to, let's say, Sunday League or Fiverr sides? Much quicker pace. Yeah. They're a lot sharper as well than us, but that's expected when you know you train every day. Um, yeah. yeah, the fitness was a, a big factor as well because I was blowing, <laughs> I was breathing heavy. I haven't played football in like two and a half months. Yeah. These lot were a bit more fit than me because they play like a bit more regularly. But the level of fitness that these boys have and the professionalism that they show, that is crazy. And the best thing about it is they made us feel at home as well. Yeah, like, they, they were, were very really welcoming. welcoming. I think that's one thing in the back of my mind. Like, these are going to be like, YouTubers are coming to our space, yeah, what the hell yeah, are they yeah. doing here? Yeah. challenge yeah. just straight in on you. Yeah, 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 no, they were actually really welcoming. Um, Lovely bunch of guys, honestly. I can't speak higher mm -hmm. enough. We know that you guys have played in like Sidemen charity games and that's been in front of big crowds. If you were given that opportunity, do you think that that has given you the right prep to play in that environment? With this session? Yeah. We'd probably need another 100. <laughs> <laughs> not another 100, not another nah. 100. <laughs> No, like we probably need loads of sessions to get up to speed. Like I said, the difference between them, the intensity and tempo. I would say like we we got chucked into the deep end. We didn't drown, but I didn't say we swam. So we swam, 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 swam. 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 <laughs> swam. <laughs> yeah. So I, I I think it's one of those things. Like if we were to do it regularly, yeah, we'd be okay. I wouldn't say we'd be better than than them or anything, but I think we'd hold our we'd own. Hold our own. Like. Not okay. top of that, you have to realise that professionals that are at this level, going into a new team, it doesn't just always click at the yeah, same time. So it's not something where we come here, do two training sessions and they'll go, yeah, you're in the FA Cup team, <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Yeah, I feel like that was more of a PR play. Yeah. But even to have our name mentioned with that competition is a huge honour. Like I said in my interview with um, Wagme United, Crawley Town, like, we are, we've been football fans our whole life. Like, we understand the culture, we understand the what it means to the fans, you know, and to players alike. So it's not something where we're just going to come in and walk around like, yeah, give us the chance to play in the FA Cup, no. Like, we respect it. Yeah. And like, we respect their craft, like they dedicate their lives to this to this sport. And it's just an honour to be able to train with them and learn from them. Yeah, I think, I think that that was a perception that people thought that, you know, you were just going to walk in and be like, <laughs> no, yeah, no. I'm starting on the <laughs> no, weekend. People like to see things the way they want to see things. Like, mm. If you open your mind and really see it for where it is and you read the articles that came out, you'd understand that, okay, this is just a good PR play. Like, it's not disrespectful. Like, I it's think people getting the opportunity to live out a dream. The, the fair for a lot of people is like, oh, what about the youngsters that have worked hard for their opportunity and they're not getting it or whatever. And it was never a thing of that. I think if anything, people can take inspiration from the fact that we are in this environment, we're doing this, and we can take experiences that we've learned from this and be like, for the young guys, if you want to play here, this is what these guys are like. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not a thing like, oh, like, here we are, YouTubers are going to come and take their space and whatever, man. But I think there's lessons to be learned from this. And for some people out there who just want to be negative to anything, 
just have an open mind. Mm. You know what I, mean? I feel you. I if anything, you. it gives, sorry. If anything, it gives us the opportunity to showcase the levels. Because one comment I get a lot is like. Oh, Toby, you should be playing for this team and yeah, that team. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like you lot don't actually know the levels that these lot play at. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, if anything, I get to make some content out of this and show that, you know, these lot are playing at a very good level. It's not as easy as it looks. But at the same time, get to experience it, hold our own. You know, it's just a proud moment for me and my brothers and my family. I saw you speaking to the manager after. You yeah. know, he was giving you a few Yeah, points basically, he was offering me the contract. I <laughs> about it. I've got other commitments. <laughs> nah. He gave us a couple of words of advice, um, told us what he's trying to cultivate in the side. And I think it's been working for them. They've had some really good recent performances. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be able to come down on Saturday and support the side uh, during the FA Cup tie. Amazing. So, let's say, yeah, like, you guys done well. And I said, I said you done well on the sideline. But let's say you was just levels above. <laughs> and then suddenly they said, yeah, here's, here, here's, the, <laughs> here's the contract. Yeah. And they said, okay, cool. You can become a player. How would you balance Becoming a, I a couldn't balance it. I couldn't. And, and doing YouTube and content. I'd have to turn down the pro contracts and let these lot. <laughs> honestly, honestly, like respectfully, I'd have to turn it down. Um, I've got other stuff that I'm committed to at this point. I'm 29 as well, so you know I'm thinking about my future. Um, but this man and my brother Jed, they, I, they snatch your arm off me. We we have less commitment, but for us growing up and. Most of us, most of our friends, we all know the same sort of people. If anyone said, hey, do you want to play pro? You wouldn't say no. Because that's what you dreamt Maybe one pro game. Maybe one game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe one game. Like, yeah, like, say, oh, like, I've played a professional match. That's a sick thing. Yeah, amazing. Well, lads, I hope you guys get another opportunity at a training session. And hopefully get, you know, one of those one-off one -off games <laughs> one -off that you've been having. Even if it's pre-season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe pre-season next year, I'll come down and try. <laughs> that would be amazing. No, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah.